what's going on you guys it's your boy king sanders here and we are back with another video as of today the time that i am going to be making a my nfl picks videos as of today i'm really excited to go ahead and hop into it so i probably won't ramble on for too long but i just kind of wanted wanted to explain everything and how it's all going to work um, I'm not going to go through every single game. I'm going to go through a lot of the games that I like. Um, but I have no intentions on, you know, going game by game saying, oh, I like this team. Oh, I like this team. Stuff like that. I have no no real intentions on that. It's mostly just going to be some of my favorite plays of the day. I'll do a recap at the end for my favorite plays of the day. Um, but just know. Just know, you guys. I'm on a heater right now. Okay? I'm on a heater um, it's bound to end soon, so you better you better tail while you can. That's all I gotta say. Um, so these are gonna be some of my best bets for week four of the NFL. I'm very excited for it. Very very excited for it. Um, and so I, I just wanted to share this content with you guys, just in case if some of you guys are out there are sports betters and you guys did want to see um, something similar to this. So. Um, starting off, I will just, I'm just going to hop straight into it. Okay. So with that being said, the very first game of tomorrow's slate is the Detroit Lions versus, versus the Chicago bears. I love this game from a betting perspective. And uh, let me tell you why. So first things first, there are two plays that I do like in this, in this game. Um, one, a lot more than the other. But truthfully, I think that both of them could cash very, very easily. Um, the first play is going to be the Detroit Lions spread. I do like that they are um, three-point dogs. I think that they are in a very good spot to win this game. Um, truthfully, they are... I think that the Lions not necessarily are a good team. But at the same time, neither are the Bears. Um, the Bears have shown a lot of questionable decision-making on the offensive end of the ball. Obviously, Justin Fields is now the new starting QB. He's still got to shake some things off. So I do I do see the Detroit Lions stealing this one. Um, I feel like it's going to be a pretty decent game. I feel like it's going to be pretty close. But I do think that the Detroit Lions will squeeze this one out, to be completely honest. Um, so I do like the Detroit Lions plus three. Um, I was considering the money line, but I just I would rather be safe and take the plus three. Um, I think this is the game that they win. That's pretty much as simple as as simple put as I could. The play that I like the most though is going to be the under 41 and a half points. I may tease that one up to about 42, 43 points uh, just to get a little bit better odds, but I will be hammering the under. Now, let me tell you why. The thing about that makes this game so appealing, at least for me, is the fact that both offenses on these teams are atrocious. Completely atrocious. Matt Nagy, he has no idea what he's doing when it comes to offensive play calling. Um, odds are he has a very good chance of, of getting fired. Um, and so he has just so much on his plate right now. He's not really, like... He's not in the right state of mind, let me tell you. And on top of that, Justin Fields is a new um, is a new rookie QB. He's still shaking some things off. And then you flip it over to the other side. The Detroit Lions offense is atrocious as well. And the two very good focal points of this of this uh, game in general is the defense. Both defenses are, I would say, above average. And I truly think that both defenses are pretty good. So this is definitely one where... I, I really like the under a lot. I think the under is probably going to be one of my favorite plays today. Um, that's that's definitely going to be a for sure play. I do think the Detroit Lions spread at plus three is also a very good one. But I just don't know. So um, the next game, I'm not a huge fan of it. So I'm not really going to spend too much time on it. If you wanted to bet one, I would probably go with the Titans minus six. Um, I do think that Derrick Henry could make them win by at least a touchdown. Um, next here we have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Chiefs are seven point favorites. And, um, you know, I here's the thing is the Chiefs have looked really bad this year, but truthfully, 
I just don't really like this game. I feel like it's kind of a trap line um, because the Chiefs should beat the Eagles by more than that. The Chiefs should 100% beat the Eagles by more than seven. So realistically, it just it doesn't feel like this is going to be. I feel like this is a trap. That's that's at the end of the day, that's all it really is. Next, we have the Carolina Panthers and the Dallas Cowboys. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I love this game from a betting perspective. Now, let me tell you why. Dallas Cowboys coming off of a huge win against the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Dallas Cowboys are coming off of a win, a huge win from the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, let's be honest here. Let's be completely honest here. Dak Prescott, he looked good. He looked good um, against probably one of the bot one of the worst teams in the entire league. I would say probably bottom three, um, potentially bottom four, but still, the Eagles are a terrible, terrible team. So, yeah, Dak looked good, but I just don't think that it's there yet. Um, on top of that, I, I know that Christian McCaffrey, he last as of last week went down with a pretty bad like calf injury i know mccaffrey went down with like a pretty big calf injury but at the same time trust me like i genuinely think that um i think that there's a shot that he's back but even if he or i don't think he's gonna be back actually but either way even if even if christian mccaffrey doesn't make it back i love the carolina panthers plus four to them and truthfully i could see the Carolina Panthers money line cashing as well. I got to be honest, Dallas, they looked good, but they were, like I said, they were playing against a terrible team, and I just don't believe in the Dallas Cowboys yet. And I hope that they prove me wrong right here. I would love that, but I don't believe in the Dallas Cowboys yet. And plus four um, for a, you know, for one of the first games of the day, I just, it's it's too, like it's it's just not a very good spread. It's just not. Sam Darnold has looked really, really great all year, to be honest. Um, obviously, they're 3-0, and their defense is nothing to scoff at. And they're 3-0 for a reason. They're 3-0 for a reason, and please just remember that, because at the end of the day, I, I think that I think that it's going to open up a lot of eyes, especially people that are going out in left field saying the Dallas Cowboys are going to win it all and make deep playoff runs. Like, no, they're not. They're really not. Um, so, anyway, at the end of the day, Carolina Panthers plus four, or potentially even the money line if you if you are feeling risky. But to, for the safe bet, I'm going Carolina Panthers plus four. So that gives them some wiggle room. They can lose by a field goal or then some. And potentially you could see this line move um, if you wait. If you're watching this in the morning, um, which you guys will be. I don't know why I said that. But you guys will be watching this in the morning. So since you guys will be watching this in the morning, um, the line could potentially move like around like 10 or like an hour or two before game time. So just keep an eye on that. Um, because if it does, you know, get to plus five, you definitely want to take your odds on that as well. So, uh, next we have the New York Giants and the New Orleans Saints. I gotta be honest, I'm not touching this with a 12 foot pole. So on to the next one. Um, I just hate that. Next we have the Buffalo Bills as 17 and a half point favorites over the Texans. Not touching that at all. Next, we have the Cleveland Browns versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, this is a game that I potentially considered. Um, if I were to bet one, truthfully, I could see this being another week for the dogs, baby. I could see this being another week for the dogs. I think that the Minnesota Vikings have seen a very good chance against the Browns this week. Like, in all honesty, I really do. I think that they, that they stand a pretty good chance. Next, we have the Colts versus the Dolphins. Um, the Colts, they have looked really bad this year. They've looked extremely bad. Um, and I know that Carson Wentz has not helped this situation at all by going to Indiana. But I do think that this is one that they can win. Um, obviously, Indiana, um, they like or Indianapolis, sorry. They've always had a pretty solid defense. Like, overall, they just, they've always had a pretty solid defense. They're off. Their offense is nothing is nothing to scoff at. Excuse me. Um, their offense is, is is pretty decent. I think that now is going to be the time that Carson Wentz does you know step into that role and he does end up taking that spot. So 
<clears throat> excuse me. So I do think that the Colts do end up going ahead and taking this one. I really want to bet the money line, get those plus odds. But truthfully, I'm just playing it safe this week. I'm, I've won my last nine bets. Nine bets, I'm up a lot of units right now. I'm not trying to ruin it, especially on some last-second BS like this. So, um, so yes, Colts plus 2.5, one of my favorite plays of the day. Next, we have the Washington football team against the Atlanta Falcons. Not touching that game. Both teams are not very good, and I just don't feel like doing that at all. Next, we have the Cardinals and the Rams. This is a line that I think is a trap line. Um, not necessarily the spread, but the over and under, I think, is a little bit of a trap line. Everybody's going to be hammering the over of 54 um, because both offenses are so good, so talented. And like I said, the the Cardinals' offense is just ridiculous with you know Kyler Murray and all of the weapons that they have over there in Arizona. It's going to be hard to stop. But if anybody can stop them, it's going to be the Rams. So it's it's a very, very difficult thing to be like thinking about and betting. And I could see it being a shootout. I could I genuinely could see the score being thirty four to thirty one or something. But at the same time, I just that's a that's a pretty big over under to try to cover. So I would probably tease this down to maybe fifty. Um, I know that's a that's going to be a pretty pretty juiced, but at the same time, like if you bet it down to like fifty one or even fifty, then you're for sure going to win money, and at least I think so. So I really like that um, for the over. If you did want to take the over, or if you wanted to take the under, I feel like that could be a solid play as well. I won't be betting on it though. I gotta be honest. I just won't be betting on it unless if I bump the. Uh, the over-under down to about 50. Next, we have the Seahawks and the 49ers. I'm not a big fan of this game. Um, I could really see it going both ways. I think that the Seahawks being dogs is very um, interesting because I think that this is a game that they could definitely win, especially since the Seahawks haven't been looking very good this year. But it's just not something that I'm really going to be betting on I just I don't think it's don't think it's the most uh, I, I don't really think it's the best idea so I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna waste any units um, or any money on any games like that and I'm hopping into this next one so we have the Pittsburgh Steelers verse, versus the Green Bay Packers not a big fan of this game either I know I know I've said that about the, like the last you know like the last like five or six games but truthfully like it's just it's very difficult because that's such a weird number like six and a half it it just makes it very difficult obviously the Steelers have looked really bad this year the Packers have kind of been here and there but do they win by a touchdown I don't know that's kind of a large margin to cover when you don't when your quarterback is like kind of 50 50 and on the edge so makes it very difficult to be completely honest to just um to try to determine something like that so i don't think i don't think i would bet that one either um in all honesty next we have the ravens versus the broncos this is one that i think this is probably my favorite play of the entire day um I will probably be putting two units on this game, especially since I have won a lot pretty recently. Um, I won my last nine bets, like I said. So I think this is going to be my favorite bet of the day. So this is going to be my bet. I have Ravens and Broncos here under 44. Now, if you want to go ahead, if you want to go ahead and bump that up to 45, 46, you definitely can do so. Um, but I do think that this is going to be an under game. Now here, let me explain why. First of all, we all know that the Ravens love to run the ball. The run the ball. They have um, they have shown that they are a very, very, very good rush like rushing team just in general. Um, just a very solid overall running team. But at the same time, 
the strong point of the Broncos is their defense. So you put a really solid defense up against a very solid rushing game, then it's going to get the clock running. It's going to, you know, not allow a lot of time for scores. And on top of that, um, the Broncos on offense, even though they have shown some sparks, um, here's the thing. They've shown sparks of them being good, but at the same time, they have Teddy Bridgewater, who I think is solid. I, I truly do. But he is a very mobile quarterback as well. So you get the ball on the ground. It's going to keep moving the clock. It's going to keep um, allowing those teams to... Um, it's going to keep allowing the, like the team to just, just chew clock, basically. Um, and it's just... It, I just don't I, I don't foresee it going to be a very high scoring game. Forty four is I wish it was a bit higher. I wish it was like closer to fifty. Then I would probably put like ten units on it. Like no exaggeration. This is one of my favorite plays of the entire day. But yeah. So a quick recap. Um if you guys were wanting some of my favorite like my four the four picks that I am for sure going to be betting tomorrow. Um I'm going to be taking the Broncos and the Ravens under. Um, I'm going to give it some time and hopefully that that under goes up. Um, but I don't really know if it will. Oh, and by the way, Tampa Bay and the Patriots, not touching that. Um, I think it'll be a very good game to watch. But I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how exactly it's going to turn out. I don't know how... Bill Belichick's going to want to run the offense. Um, I don't know what they're going to try to do against Tom Brady. Um, I feel, my in my true gut feeling, I feel like the Buccaneers are going to blow them out of the water. But at the same time, it's a Monday or it's a Sunday night football game, um, and, and minus seven is such a large spread for a Sunday night football game, which is why, if you guys are following my Twitter, which you guys definitely should. Um, if you guys are following my Twitter, I bet the Jags on Monday plus the seven and a half because they're, that was just way too big of a line, especially for a Monday night football game that, that just shouldn't happen. There should be no dogs that are seven and a half point dogs on Monday night football. It just shouldn't happen. So, um, I probably won't be betting that, but if I did, I would take probably, I don't know. I'd probably go the bucks, but I don't know. It, it would be a toss up. So, like I said, my favorite play of the night or of the day is going to be the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens under. I'm I will take it at 44, but I'm going to keep an eye on it for sure. Um, next, my favorite play or my second favorite play is going to be the um, probably up at the top here, probably the Chicago Bears versus the Detroit Lions, and it is going to be the total of um the under 41 and a half i potentially might move that up to 40 44 45 no no i won't i'll keep it at 41 like i said both offenses are very are struggling a lot and both defenses are very solid so at some point in time, you know, some points are going to have to be scored, but I just don't think it's going to be very many. I think it'll be an extremely low-scoring game. So I'm definitely betting on those two picks as of right now. Um, the third one I'm going to for sure bet on is going to be the Carolina Panthers versus the Dallas Cowboys. Carolina Panthers plus four, lock it in. Another one of my very, very confident picks. I like that pick a lot. Um, and then my fourth pick that I'm going to be doing is going to be Indianapolis Colts. Plus the two and a half. Um, I think that this is a game that the Indianapolis Colts do win, despite them starting off really, really, really bad. Um, I think that Carson Wentz puts it together here, and I think that this is his time to shine. So that is going to do it for my first ever video of my NFL picks. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Um, truthfully this is something that i'm going to be doing every sunday it's going to be more just for fun um like i said i have a new streaming schedule starting 
or not a streaming schedule, but like an uploading schedule. So Monday is going to be traditional rebuilds. Wednesday is going to be a my GM uh, mode. Friday is going to be another traditional rebuild, and then Sunday is going to be NFL picks. So that's that's going to be how the uh, schedule is going to go for right now. Um, but if yeah, like I said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. This is King Center signing out. Peace.